Good morning, God, afternoon, God, even, and from wherever you're watching this from. I hope you all are doing great from your respective blessings. Welcome back yet again to another video, to another story. Just to take you back, um, if we just try to kind of clash back. Ever since the beginning of, you know, or the fact that it was brought out to the public that the Duke of Sussex is dating uh, Duchess Megana. This is a biracial woman we're talking about. That's where everything that's happening to date began. What am I basically talking about? I'm talking about the fact that even uh, William's jealousy kind of just got worse from, uh, you know, Duchess Megan being uh, his, from Duchess Megan being her favorite actress. You know, while still acting uh, at the sort to her coming physically and, you know, getting engaged to the brother. That's where I bet the boiling point kind of got high. They saw Harry and Meghan as a competition. Rather, they didn't see them as workmates or people whom they would love to work with. To be able to bring the difference that they keep on preaching every now and then. Harry and Meghan sat down and saw a better wanting to put their mental health, their well-being, the betterment of their kids first. They saw it was better and made the wisest decision ever and decided to leave. Them leaving, it's not that it even made a things get any better, but rather things got worse because Harry and Meghan were stalked each and every single place. When they found out that they were Ben hosted somewhere in, a, you know, among us, Tyler Perry's mansion, drones were sent to just go capture pictures and just to come back with an information, kind of just proving that, yes, it's true, Harry and Meghan have been kept. Or been shelter, you know, because, of course, that was among us. The, I wouldn't say the worst, because I bet they've had the worst moments but that wasn't a good experience. Not for them, not for Duchess Megan, especially when she was pregnant. It wasn't. It was such a bad, bad experience. That aside, they managed to maneuver, they managed to forge their own part, navigate it, and just made it. But that still wasn't enough for them to date. They still want to compete with Harry and Meghan. William has been that one brother who licked and I bet still licks and kind of just gives stories to the mail. And with me here, I just want us to discuss a whole story of a William and Kat want to be like Harry and Meghan. But you know what? That's going to take a miracle for it to happen because they lack everything the higher and make and have from charisma, love, kindness, passions. They lack all that. Qualities of a God leader. Not any of them has it. But instead, let's agree with us who just lays you around. Because at the end of the day, the lavish lifestyle is still being funded by taxpayer money. For William, all he does is just promises people heaven and earth. And uh, you know what? He rarely, he's only a man who talks but never implements his actions. That's one thing about we've seen. And at the moment, the monarchy is at its worst. Why am I saying this? As you can see, things aren't working right. People are out and about chanting and wanting the monarchy to be abolished because all they say is incompetency and irrelevancy. And that's why them concluding to why have an institution yet and working for our expectations or par their expectations. The, 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 the bad part, uh, you know, is when uh, the cat also came out and about uh, during a week to that is Megan's wedding, you know. She managed to manipulate the public and told the public that, you know what, that is Megan made me cry. 
and listening to Duchess Megan talk, something or a manipulated statement that had resonated with the public for years turned out to be the opposite. William has just lived his entire life briefing on how he hurts his brother, briefing of how the next time they'll probably talk with Harry is at his father's funeral. And one thing that also makes us be so sure, even during Harry and Meghan's uh, you know, stay back in the UK, that the first uh, front four liners who would forever lack information about Harry and Meghan, William tops it. William tops it. And there's no redemption for that. We just have to leave with what they are basically, at the moment, they are just basically sowing what they planted. They made the public leave with just lies that they managed to convince or manipulate people with. That was so unfortunate, but this whole story of William and Kat always wanting to be Harry and Meghan, it's very true, we support, but that's going to take a miracle for it to happen. Knowing very well, probably it might never, ever come to a fulfillment. I'm loving Harry and Meghan because for them, they chose silence and that's the best answer to ever work. They never rubbish back. They never respond back. Most especially when it comes to conspiracies. They have no time for such. And at the moment, they are living in a non-toxic environment. Very much at peace. Their kids are just growing up in a safe environment. Because, of course, it wasn't safe for them back in the UK. The bad thing is, even after Harry and Meghan left... Charles still went ahead and removed their security. Went ahead extra miles, you know, to take away their Frogmo cottage. A cottage that was gifted to them by the Lord Queen Elizabeth during their wedding. And at the moment, we are here out and about hearing that William wants the castle that you know what Andrew is in and what not and what forth. That's the institution that breeds Harvard. That's the monarchy in question at the moment. They are so much self-centered and that's why they don't care over what the less privileged are going through. I did a whole piece yesterday and I was just referring to a tweet that was, uh, you know, posted on X. Uh, whereby somebody was bringing about two different kings from two different countries and uh, the other one was wearing a simple suit together with, uh, you know, his wife and they were addressing the poor. When it comes to Charles and Camilla, they wear clothes worth hundreds of millions just to address the poor. That's when answers it all. William, Charles. Camilla, Kat are not any better. The only people who would have assisted the institution to kind of go our father or just continue making a difference like back then. Because ever since the lad Queen Elizabeth passed away and ever since Harry and Meghan left, things have never been the same again. And we don't have hopes for it to get any better. It's a high time they just come to terms and abolish the institution for the betterment of everyone. And Harry and Meghan are never going to wine and dine with their haters and their abusers. Some applies that they have no interest in what William and Kat think. For them, they have a life to live, not wanting Ben in power to fight for. Because I always say William and Kat are so much focused in being at the ones in the throne and have even forgotten that they have a marriage to live. They have a marriage to work on. That's not Harry and Megan. That's from my own perspective. Let me know your thoughts about what we just discussed on the comment section. Hoping to see you guys in our next more videos to come.